Welcome back heroes to some more Sea of Stars. Last episode we made our way to the Clockwork Castle. We took down Brigades and Alina but they went back into the castle like we just you know stalled a little bit. Went for the puzzle and we found uh, some kids who are eternal 10 year olds. Unfortunately they're gonna die if they leave the castle but they've got some way to um, use our solstice energy to like make some like, laser beam look pretty cool. Uh, we took down the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 but the Dweller of Strife has awoken and we're gonna basically try and lure it over here. We can hit it with this like big beam. The Solstice Amulet is tingling. Time to make an eclipse then. Nice. Okay, we've got the eclipse. Let's hurry. Whoa. Watch out. No going back now. It's coming again. The eclipse looks beautiful. Oh, we can still go forward a little bit. Ha! Do a better job of destroying the bridge next time, loser. Although, uh... How do I... Oh, I jumped down here. Okay. Yeah, we good, we good. Up we go. I'm looking forward to this boss battle, man. Ah, that's the kid. Would you like to have a look at my wares? Uh, I think I'll be good. Got as much good stuff as I think we can get. Yeah, they're making their way up. With the machine. There you are. Okay, well, what's the plan? You just fight this thing as hard as you can and the crystal will absorb some of the energy you unleash. Whenever it's fully charged, it will fire. Understood. Nicely done, team. The device is uh, perfectly calibrated. We'll clear the way now. Good luck, Solstice Warriors. I just hope we can do this. Ready, Valir? You bet. We can't do much, but we'll support you however we can. I'm not touching the Dweller. But... Oh yeah, he can't, can he? He said. Gull and I have got your back. I like how he's just going to sit down, but... Oh, wow. It's time. Alright. Uh, so, first thing we'll do is we will delay your action. Sweet. And then... I don't think I can... Actually, no, I can do this. If I hit you like this... And then I... Do this. I can... Nice! So far, so good. And if we go... Swap, this is easy. Go to Gar. And then we'll go for a nice... Moonerang. I feel like most of the damage from this boss battle is going to have to come from the the crystal behind us. Uh, so only when I use my sources abilities, that's when it activates, right? Yeah, a bit went into it. And I guess I'll just go for a Crescent Arc, because it's the least amount of mana. Do a little bit of damage, just getting taller and taller. Yeah, the source of stability, so you just got to go for as much as you can. So it's probably best just go for the lower MP cost moves just to charge it up. Ooh, okay, uh, I think I have to delay this if I can. Alright, next we will attack you twice. Does live mana count? Oh, I'll find out. Yeah, it does. Sweet. Eclipse laser. 5,016. That's some good damage. 
All right, so we know what we need to do. Just keep charging it as fast as possible. All right, uh, need to get some MP. And we'll just go for one. One at a time just to charge it. Oh, uh, I can't delay this. So I'm just gonna have to attack. Coming and crash. Oh, okay. That's not too bad, to be fair. I wonder if combo attacks also work. All right, let's go for a. Uh, actually, I'm. I'll be fine for a little bit. Nice, and then we'll just go. I'm gonna go healing light. That should surely work. Yeah. I beam. Oh my god. 134. Okay, that's scary. So let's go mend and light. We've got an ultimate ready, but I just don't think it's going to do any damage, to be fair. Alright, Eclipse laser. Another 5,000 damage, hopefully. Yeah, 5,048. Get some MP and life mana. Ow. Attack this. Oh, charge up. Too bad. Just keep trying to charge it as fast as possible, and everything will be fine. Now you can give your attack. Not it hurts, but it's not that bad. Ooh. Right. So let's do this. How many have we got? Two. So we'll go for another one. Alright. Let's healing light you. Get some HP back. And that should be another Eclipse laser gun, I think. Yep. Now 5k damage. Oh, look at his eyes. His eyes getting uh, a bit red. Good job, mate. Yeah, just keep hitting the wall. Uh oh, is he breaking the tower? Okay, not good. Maybe don't keep hitting the tower then. <laughs> He's just still chilling. Really? <laughs> oh, where is she? The crystal broke, but the dweller remains. I don't know what we can do now. Oof, good thing my backpack uh, took most of the hit. Okay, should find Valir. Oh, there you are. Valir! Still fighting. Let's keep fighting. Alright, now this is where it's going to get difficult. I'm going to go for a sun ball. He's trying to do some damage. And it looks like he's regained health because the eye is not red anymore. Ooh, this is bad. I am going to go for the Lunar Shield. Guess we just attack. It's not much, but... Oh. They can't do it. But... Rashan, you must help. Now. Well, there are rules. I can't touch a dweller. Hey, that's not fair. I'll be nothing but nice to you. You agreed to my terms. I mean, he, yeah, screw your terms. Oh. 
You fool! That works. Oh, you've really done it now. Oh, what's happening? Let me do the talking, and whatever happens, do not attract his attention. Whose attention? Looks kind of badass, not gonna lie. Our Lord returns at long last. Our Lord and Master too. I thought we had a deal. It wasn't me. Oh, spare me the old excuse. The violet time touched a dweller. Whether you did it yourself or let it happen, this is on you. An eye for an eye then. Who will get to that? Dweller of Strife. How? Fleshmancer? Master? We... One? Yes, Master. I'm honored that you remember me. How could you stay alive for so long? Surely you spent plenty of time outside of the castle? Sacrifice. Sacrifice and dedication too? We use the Vampire Rose. The Vampire Rose. Tell me, does it hurt? All the time. Interesting. I commend your dedication. Master. Still, resurrecting a dweller. Who provided the Blood Moon? We did. You have my thanks. What is your wish? Master, if I may? Speak. The sorceress shows unparalleled magical, pa magical prowess. I believe she would make for a great lieutenant at your current headquarters. And what about the other one? He prefers to forget and demands only confirmation that he will never have to fight these solstice warriors again. I see. I'm not losing the Dweller of Strife again. Acolytes? Master? Are you prepared to serve for all eternity? We desire nothing more. Then leave now alongside my dearest creation, and in time I will see to your transformation. Yes, the four of you will be merged with the Dweller to become its conscience. Oh. In the distant future, you shall return together as one, the king of a new race. Thank you, Master. Yeah, I would not want that. Do not interfere. This creation will be unstoppable. Now, I suppose a proper psychic is in order. Martial artist. You wish to forget? I do. I never want to fight Solstice, Solstice Warriors again. Then let us make sure you are not needed for a very long time. Go now. Follow the uh, Dweller and the Acolytes. Valir, it's not too late if... We have nothing to talk about. Zale, you two can come with me and be free of... Just leave. Save yourself. It's all you can do. Alina. There's a way. I'll find you again. Live on, Brugaves. Everything I did, I did for you. Just remember. Enough. Time to go. Brugaves, is it? Allow me to give you a new form and a new name. And I shall grant you all your wishes. All my life I tried to do what was expected of me. Only to hear again and again that I was too slow. I desire only one thing, new master. 
to feel adequate and fit for my role. Oh, not to worry. When I'm done with you, you'll be the fastest there's ever been. I am not liking the look of this. Sorceress, it appears my current seat of power may come under fire soon. Help me defend it, and I'll make you a ruler of that world when I leave. Do these terms suit you? They do. Now allow me to give you a new form and a new name, and I shall grant all your wishes. I want power. Power overwhelming. Perfect. Go now, and I'll be with you shortly. Now, where was I? Get behind us. An eye for an eye then, Rashan. A single hit, that's the deal. Why? Afraid they can't take more? Do your worst, you're nothing but a loser. Gal! <laughs> Watch out! Gal better not die. I thought we established that stopping time was impossible. How do you do it, Rashan? It isn't really stopped. I had an epiphany while experimenting with time loops. Time could be brought to a near complete stop by creating an infinitely short recursive sequence. Genius! And I suppose these crystals are what is holding the time loop together. They're beautiful. What do you call them? Time shards. Simple enough. You always were the better artist. I would ask if I can keep one, but I understand they will dissolve when you break the loop. So, how have you been? Sulking in your archive for a few centuries again? How much is enough? Have you still no regard for the pain and suffering you leave in your wake? Oh please, do give me that lecture again. These solstice warriors, why are you travelling with them? They're not ready to ascend. We will see. You think they come after me? Did I earn a slap on the wrist again? You took over an entire species. <laughs> You know as well as I do that these lives are lost anyway once you recompose the timelines. Still, procrastinating that one, I noticed. One more wrong will not make this right. Their suffering is real. And so is mine. You know what? I agree. Let's skip the usual debate. But to answer your question, yes, I do believe these two will drive you out from your current stronghold. Oh, don't make me laugh. Even if they somehow made it across the Sea of Stars, ah, Sea of Stars, the Sorceress would be my champion. And as I am sure you could tell, her potential is limitless. They can do it, I'm certain. Now, would you look at that? Rashan wants to pit innocent children of the Solstice against their former mentor, and somehow I'm the bad guy? To think that you could stop me with a snap of your fingers, but no, you chose to cling to the silly belief that this all turns to good someday. Enough. <laughs> As you wish. Thanks for the chat, partner. God! Oh, you better not die, no! Rashad, do something! He took a direct hit and has no innate magic to protect himself. Even I can't help. I'm sorry. Ha! <laughs> Who's the loser now, huh? You'll be dead in a few moments. Any last words? Oh, no. Oh! The thing we felt when he got almost taken over by the Dweller before. We can't lose you! Huh? 
tail. The Elder Mist? Elder Mist? There is something your friend must see before he passes. But... It is time. Let it in. Embrace your true power. And bring Gull to me. The Elder Mist. We have to go right now. What? That's way too far. Gull is dying. Don't you see, Valir? The distance is always short if we fly away. Oh! Solon. Zael. So you really were the spark after all. I was gonna say, like, Valir should just go for a hit right now, and she actually did, but run while you can, Fleshmancer. The sorceress and I will be waiting. Come if you dare. Oh, she can fly as well. Sweet. Moana. Quick! The ports are so sick. I was going to say, how's Rochelle going to get there? But obviously, he can just become the eagle and fly. <laughs> Does it feel any better? I... not really. Zell, it really hurts. I'm so sorry, buddy. I feel colder and colder. Gal. Hey, we got to fly in the end. That's pretty good, right? Try not to talk. So, you'll go after Alina and the Fleshmancer? It doesn't matter right now. It seems like they left for a faraway place. Don't worry about it, Gal. Just stay with us. I wish I could help you get there. I wish I could help you one last time. Ooh. When death is near, the unresolved chapters of one's prophecy beckon. The way to help uh, may be in there. Allow me. Is Gal really gonna die? I remember that. I know what that is. We've got a volcano as well. I know what that is, and obviously that's just stars. Say, I just I had a vision. I think I know how to help you go after them. Thank you, Elder Mist. I understand now. The Sea of Stars. But it's too late. If I had just one more day. Come on, kid. I can't do it if you don't ask. Oh, when the moment comes, demand a flask or borrow time. Come on, Gal. Ask him. Rashan, I demand a flask or borrow time. Hey! Nice! Okay, I really hit the spot. I feel as if... Ugh. Uh oh. Huh? Hey, um... Listen carefully, Gal. The ethereal feeling you're experiencing is a side effect of borrowed time. The potion's magic worked only because you had clarity of purpose. You currently exist in between realities. Borrowed time will keep you here until your deed is done. But you must understand, you will still die in the end. That cannot be changed. It's okay. I understand. Now I know exactly what to do. First, Gal. Oh, You're just gonna act like nothing's wrong? Don't have much time, Valir. I want to make the most of it. Don't say that. There might still be a way. There isn't. I'm sorry. If you use the time for anything other than the stated purpose, the borrowed time will expire instantly. Guys, it's okay. I already did a lot more than a regular Moon Cradle boy has any right to. All I want is one last adventure with you. Seeing Gal's final deed through is what will extend his borrowed time the most. You don't understand. 
We can't lose him. It's too late for that, regardless. I just want to help one last time. Can you do this for me? Please? It's my final wish. You only ever get one of those. Come on. Is this, is this or nothing? Let's make it count, okay? Let's make it count. Let's make it count. Alright, let's do this. To get you across the sea of stars, there's people we need permission from. We need a bargaining chip, but I know just the thing. So where are those people? Way up. I suppose the flying was a spur of the moment thing. Yeah, I'm not too sure how we did that. The connection took place, but your new powers need more time to grow. It's okay, there's another way. That mysterious shrine out in the ocean south of Mesa Island? It's connected somehow. Yeet can get us closer, let's go. Damn, I don't want Gaul to die. He's not one of the best characters. I mean, at least he's gonna be with us for a little bit longer. Ah, oh, it sucks. Hey, oh. Wait, a magic word. Uh. I think we wanna go to Kuka. Cause that's the head, isn't it? Call that in his mouth pretty well. All right, I've seen this many times. It's just like over here. Nope. Uh, a bit to the right. Ooh. This way. Yes, yeah, so we have to go here. Skyward Shrine Bridge. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Oh man. I can't believe Gaul took the shot as well. But I feel like the, the final boss is going to be kind of sick. You've got Aferol, I mean, however you pronounce it. You're going to have Alina like, in a new form, probably Brugaves, and also the um, the Acolytes as the Dweller, but the sh uh, Shrine you saw, it's that thing over there. Yes, I'm sure of it. This is how we reach the ones we can grant access to, they see your stars. It's uh, way out of reach. Did your vision contain anything about how to get to it? I... Not really, I just know deep down that we have everything we need. Really? Half some water. Huh? Oh, that was her prophecy, wasn't it? I hope it's all starting to come together as well, this is so sick. The music here is really nice as well. Nice. Way to go, Vili. Quite impressive. How did you know? The Oracle of Tides. He said I could mend the connection. That was unreal. We get to walk on it now. Come on. Really like breaks my heart every time I see Gaul just like kind of vanishing a little bit. So sad. But the Skyward Shrine. Guess we're going to probably go into the sky. I would imagine. Listen to the music all day. This is really nice. Wow, this looks cool. That tickled. Did it work? Sure did. This is definitely the place. Let's go. All right. We've got a dungeon to go through. It's gonna be like a, just a simple walk into a place and click the thing. Oh no, it's a big place. Okay, sick. Let's go to the lagoon. We'll do some fishing. Don't worry, girl, we got time. It's part of your, uh, your... <laughs> oh, your deed. Right, what do we got? What do we got? Well, this thing is... 
coming in slow. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Got a sky urchin. All right, gonna get this next. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, easy. Got a cloud skate. And I think that's everything we can probably get around here. Yeah, alright, cool. And the skies look really nice as well. Oh, it makes sure the skies, the clouds. This is a cool place. I guess we go to the Cloud Kingdom. Got a place in the far left I want to check out as well once we get the chance. Whoa! Who would have thought, huh? You know what it is you seek out here? An audience. What? As a council? Thing. I think. Let's look around. The Cloud Kingdom. Can you imagine if you just jump down all the way? This looks so cool though. But the details on the rocks. Whoa. Uh, hi. Small visitors, did Lorna mend the connection at last? Uh, sure. Oh. I love how the, the band's always here. I just realized, um, Kenneth and Star, the little octopus, is playing the flute. If you need to rest, I have a small corner for visitors your size. Okay, cool. Sleep well. My quite oh, rainbow conch, nice. My question is, um, why are the rooms so small for you, and you're so big? Are you just are you just legs? <laughs> just floating legs. Like, well, it's not floating. Like, it's just just legs. That's it. Uh. Hi. Little ones, are you going to meet the council? If so, I wish you luck. They can be very difficult. Oh, great, that's what I like to hear. Oh, that's actually so cool how they move out the way for you. Let's go, Pink. Is it like a shop we can. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, this guy's gonna definitely sell, so he's got a hammer there. <gasps> Ooh, new daggers for you. True silver daggers. Hello down there, I'm the local craftsman. Hey, cloud sword, that looks good. Right, let me sell some stuff so I can get this. How much was it? 140, nice. Cloud sword sounds so good. I do love the features like move, that's, that's so sick. Oh wow, you got nice shoes. The fact that little ball is there, is that the ball that we get put in when we get thrown across? We've got some stories to listen to as well soon. We've got three stories. Oh, another rainbow conch right there. Oh, I don't want to see what they look like. Let me see their faces. Who demands audience? Present yourselves. Oh, a little bit more. <clears throat> I'm the one demanding audience. We can hear you just fine. No need to shout. Oops. Name? Girl. Title? What? Title. His title is Warrior Cook. <laughs> Luana? Oh. Mumble mumble. So Warrior Cook. Is our understanding that you are on borrowed time? I am. I have a requ request. Then speak. It's for my friends here. I want you to grant them access to the Sea of Stars. Do you understand what you're asking of us? Absolutely. And who will vouch for you? Vouch? I don't know. I thought we could just... I will.
Ooh, great eagle, you honour us with your presence. Tell us then, do they possess the key? Yes, they have reclaimed the uh, Vespertine. Do they possess the strength? Yes, Solon and Luana have awoken. Their wish is to accept this final gift from their friend and complete their journey. Do they possess the will? Sarai. How did she get here? Who is she then? Determination. She's definitely someone very important, but we still don't know, but we deem this group of travellers satisfactory. This leaves only the matter of the deed. What does the warrior cook intend to offer in exchange for his friend's passage? I hope you have a plan. Well, what do you propose? A meal? I will wake the sleeper. Oh. You would bring total destruction to this world? What makes you believe we would ac accept such a, a proposition? Don't worry, I'll make it friendly again. The Elder Miss once told me that I might soothe a long tormented soul. This is what he meant. I'm certain of it. Oh, okay. That is a tall order. What is your plan? The ruins in the moorlands? I wasn't sure at first, but now I know what they meant. There are no more... of vapes? How then? I will complete the ritual of the elements by cooking with them. Impossible. We agreed to entertain your plan. How will you use water? Magic do to instantly grow the crops are need. Sea monsters are extinct. Magic do will not manifest without an enchanted scale. Don't worry, I know just the place to find one. How about fire then? Natural heat from the volcano without a name. Preposterous, the lava monster would kill you instantly. It's okay, my friends are pretty strong. Earth? The volcano will be uh, terraformed by magic so I can use its summit as a giant oven to bake my creation. I suppose you know just the wizard? Sure do, and that volcano will finally have a name. Uh, Kiln Mountain. Don't push your luck, kid. <laughs> We like the name. <laughs> that leaves the final element. How does wind come into play? We'll capture Zephyr in a bottle. When my creation is complete, I'll let it carry the scent to the sleeper's nostrils. And why do you require a volcano sized oven? Because I'll bake the biggest loaf of bread the world has ever seen. <laughs> and what makes you believe that it will be enough to make the sleeper friendly again? Oh, come on, no one can be grumpy when they wake up to the smell of freshly baked bread. I mean, that is true. That is very true. We find no valid counter-argument. If you can truly soothe the sleeper, we will grant your friends access to the Sea of Stars. The volcano is now open. You'll also need this. Ooh, got a key. Okay. Right on. Great job up there, Gal. Yeah, that went well. I've never seen the council so easily swayed. Okay, let's go back and plan this whole thing. First one, grab this. Nice. Okay, so where is the volcano? Hey, what's your name? Uh, Punty. Why do you ask? Because he's going to punt the boy, I guess? Great, one sec. Alright, I don't have a lot of time, so we should split up. What? I'm staying with you. There's no time. Just trust me, okay? I'm in charge of Earth anyway. No danger on my path. And where is that? Remember Malco Mud? He promised he would come around if a good deed demanded his magic. You think he can terraform a volcano? Yep, plus the design I have in mind is pretty straightforward. Anyway, Zale, you're in charge of air. West of here is a skyland uh, you can access using the wind key they gave us. Find Zephyr and bottle it up. Consider it done. Valir, you've got fire. Go through the volcano and defeat the lava monster. Then we can redirect the heat and terraform the summit into a giant kiln. Got it. Sarai, that leaves water. After dropping Valir off at the volcano, get Hortons to take you back to the Sea of Nightmare. But please don't kill uh, Hydrolyon. We only need one scale. Okay. Once you have the scale, just take it to Teeks and Murph. The villagers will come together to grow and harvest the crops. Get as much as you can on the Vespertine and meet us at the volcano. Well, that'll be Kiln Mountain by then, I guess. Understood. So, first, those who will use the boat. 
Valyria and Savari, uh, Sarai, please stand in front of uh, Punty here. What about me? Oh, I, well, I assumed you weren't allowed to help. This matter isn't related to a dweller. I'm free to choose. Uh, okay. Well, the four elements are assigned, but I guess you can join one of the teams. There won't be any danger on my path, though, so who else do you want to help? All free. Oh. Oh, sweet. This guy is good. I was going to say it makes sense, because I thought it would be really hard to do like a boss with one person, but having two, a bit easier. Okay, Valir, now say Kuka. Kuka? <laughs> Whoa, that's why he's punty. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, Zale, I'll see you over at Kill Mountain once we have everything. Stay safe, Garl. You bet. You okay, buddy? I'm alright, don't worry. X toll. The Skyland is west of the village. Lead the way. Alright, sweet. I assume if we were Valir, um, Zaya would also just take her place, like, whoever you're playing as will just switch. Oh, this is badass, man. I hope we get to like play as the other two. That'd be really cool. Well, let's go and uh, get this bottle, shall we? Well, this Zephyr element in a bottle. Alright, so we've got the key to open the door. Uh, is there like a save point I can do first? I feel like I want to save it just in case, but... So Zephyr is in there, but we need something that can shatter the crystal. Let's explore a bit. Alright. What can we find? Oh, hey oh. Are we fully healed? No, we're not, but we've got enough HP. Like, I'm going to assume the enemies here shouldn't be too difficult to fight. Uh, considering, obviously, there's only two of us. Seven is not bad. You're gonna resist. Great. For oh, blood. Oh, oh, god. Okay. The good thing Rashan can heal up. Oh, I don't know your HP, which is annoying. That's actually really annoying. Because oh no, gold has got the artifact. I might have to buy another one. Oh, that's super annoying. Okay, it's fine. Vulnerable to physical attacks, that's good to know. And if we just do this, maybe we can kill you. Close, 41 damage. Like, literally, I think one hit's gonna kill it. Nice. Okay, this is going to be tough. Okay, uh, what do we want to do? Alright, so we hit that. And then we quickly go like this. Banging music, man. Absolutely banging. Whee! Ooh. That's cool. Ooh, campfire. Nice. Need that bad. Oh, okay. Gotta fight these first. Let's definitely go for a sumble. If you guys want to be weak to fire, that would be amazing. Or just weak to uh, poison as well. Oh my god, didn't hit that many times. I might have to just heal up, unless, I mean, uh, I might be fine. Yeah, let's go for you, because I should get both of them on the outside. Ooh. 
Right, I'm gonna hope this kills you and finishes you off, because otherwise we could die. Nice. Oh, okay, that was uh, that was scary. Not gonna lie, just just having um two characters now makes me just want to do a lot, and I mean a lot of grinding. It always feels good when you have more characters and you just have your like preferred playset. We've gone from five to two. All right, so I need something to go up there. I doubt we can go up, but yeah. What's that? Oh, it's nothing. I just picked such a, like, a good soundtrack for this, like, every location. Just kind of so fitting. There we go. Right, so how are we doing this? Quick. Oh, let's grab that. Oh, we've got a weapon for you. No, I can't put any more on. Okay, uh, so we need to charge. This needs to go that way. Like that. And then this will get the beam and we'll hit that. All right, so that's the way to go. There's a Thing down here we can do. Oh, rumor conch, nice. So how many do I have now? So we have 33. Okay. Was it 37 for the next one? Oh, I can't remember now. Let's go back and look at the previous report and I can see the reward list. See how many we need. Oh, this is not looking good. Okay, so let's hit you first. Hmm. I'm going to try and bring the other two behind us over here. Nice. I love that, like just grouping them together is so good. Once we block these attacks, everything should be fine. I feel like at this point in the game, if it gets too difficult, because obviously we haven't got like our whole team that I'm so used to, you can always turn on some of the relics that give us like a um, 100 plus HP plus after every battle with your auto healed. Do stuff like that, but for the time being, I'm not going to turn it on, just in case we can do it without it. Head the lock, okay. So that third attack is a little bit more time. Let's do this, and that should kill you, the bunny, the cool one. Nice. Attack you again. Oh, okay. Right, let's finish you off with this. I might have to run back and heal up. I think I'll just do that now because we took a lot of damage. I was just down here, right? Oh. Can I not? Oh no, I cannot go back. I don't know if I can go back. Oh, this is bad. Okay. I want to go heal up, but never mind. 
I've got some food I can just use. So if I see another enemy, I'll just use that. Which I just did. What's this do? Triangle slab. Uh, better heal up. Can I just go for skills? Bit of MP gone, but it's fine. I think I've got a move that can stop that attack. Uh, I can do this at least. So it does the poison damage then delays you. Oh, it just kills you. That's <laughs> just as good. That is more than good. Okay, I should be able to finish you off here. I mean, it's not too bad. So we have to put these somewhere. Guessing into this. Nice. It's taking us back. Hey, there you go. Oh, I was getting worried for nothing. All right, let's definitely save it because I think whatever's coming up next could potentially be a boss because we're just going across here now, aren't we? Can I just like? Hey, that does work. Assassin's pin. Uh, minus 20 defense, but plus 10 attack. That's just not worth it. Let me give you that. I think that has to do. I mean, it could be good on Sarai, but I just, I don't know, that minus 20 defenses just doesn't seem too appealing to me. Sky almost seems good, though. Uh, can't go behind that, so let's go down. Hey, oh, how's it going, lads? I'll just attack you. It's not too bad, I guess. And you're all kind of bunched up together, so let's see if we can finish you off here. That's one gone. Nice, and then we'll just do this, and that should finish you off. So far away from our level as well. Ooh, tree over there. This is a really cool place to like explore, though. Can't help but feel like Sky Sanctuary from Sonic, <laughs> which is one of my favorite stages. Just, I mean, it's hard sometimes, but. The music design is just, oh, it's beautiful. Let's go for this first. Go damage, and then we can just take, well, I don't think we can take the middle one out, but at least I'll stop the attack. It's like it doesn't do too much. Uh... I'm just gonna do like this because I feel like I 
can definitely one out. Yeah. It's just worth it. And then... Same again. I know it doesn't do too much damage, but... It's both of them at least. Hang this attack. Oh, do not attack Zale again. You suck. Oh, this is really bad. Uh, this is really bad. I might die. It's really hoping that would kill you. you once. How does that not kill you? At least you're up. That's what we desperately need. Alright, kill him, kill him, kill him, or we're gonna die. Oh my goodness, that was... that was close. Yeah, I need to make some better food. 100%. If there's any more battles to fight, I need to just change some stuff up a lot. Food wise. Alright, so let's go for this because the longer one. Charge that up. And then we go for this. Oh, why is that? What? I can't change this around, can I? Can I hit this? There is something we're missing, so I feel like I can't hit that. Oh no, I can hit that, what? Oh, so I was facing the wrong way. I see what I did wrong. Uh, I don't want to fight just yet. Alright, gonna try this again. Now that we're fully healed, this is gonna go a lot better. Oh my goodness, I tried just to do it low HP, but it did not go well. Well, that one's going flying. Where are you going, buddy? Let's go to the center, not fly around the screen. Alright, it's all good, it's all good. Can Lord do this again? We'll go for a little sumble. Maybe take you out. Oh, they don't get bunched together there. We're just going for a charm first. I mean, I should take out two of the bottom two. Just attack. Next turn, we'll finish you off. Maybe not next turn. This turn. There we go. Man, that was... That was hard. Right, so we need to flip this. This needs to go... That way, that... Oh. Okay. Guess that's fine for now. Definitely get the chest. Ooh. Yes, more defense. More defense is what we desperately need. Or more damage. A bit of both. So what's this doing? This... Oh, sometimes it looks like it's a broken thing, but it's fine. Oh, I see, I see. So that will go like that. That will hopefully hit this. Onto that. I'm gonna flip that a little bit. And that will hit that one. That should go and hit the other one that should be done. 
I like mirror la laser puzzles. Do a little bit over like this. There you go. Careful not to touch the lasers, because they might hurt. Remember Resident Evil 5 when you did like mirror puzzles like this? If you touch the lasers, you get hurt. I think there's one laser that instantly kills you. Oh great, you brought friends. Alright, got this battle again because it is very tough. But I'm just gonna go for this first, we can stop at least one attack. I'll use some food to heal myself up just before this fight. I am not looking forward to, like I, I like this, like the idea of like getting split up and stuff. But I'm not looking forward to the rest because this is this is hard. This is very hard. Alright, let's do this, bunch them together. Okay, good. And then Sunball. Hoping this will take you out. Nice, there you go. Just not having mana is the hard bit. Right, so we need to flip that. That's gonna get flipped onto that. Ooh. What do we have here? Any idea what this is? A highly refined crystal. His energy matches the one containing Zephyr. Could it be used to break the other one? Without a doubt, but it won't budge. So if I extract the essence and frequency? Zayo, do you have any magic item with a proper handle? Hmm, how about the coral hammer? Let's see it. This will work. Thanks, Rashan. Got the Cobalt Hammer. Now we can, uh, yeah, in upgrade, you can now break blue crystals with it. I feel like I've seen some blue crystals in different locations throughout the game, so it might be good to do some backtracking soon. Ooh, all the way back. All right. Well, I think it's probably a great place to end this part off. I'm gonna do some cooking, and next episode we will go and battle Zephyr. Go and trap it in a bottle, and then I guess we go and use Valir or uh, Rasai next. We'll see, but I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.